Ricky Ricotta's Mighty Robot vs. the Mutant Mosquitoes from Mercury Chapter 1 Ricky and his Robot There once was a mouse named Ricky Ricotta who lived in Scookieville with his mother and father. Ricky Ricotta might have been the smallest mouse around, but he had the biggest friend in the town. Chapter 2 School Days Ricky and his mighty lover liked to go to school together. Sometimes, when Ricky was running late, his robot would fly him straight to the school front door. After school, the mighty lover liked to help Ricky with his homework. The robot's computer brain could solve complex math problems. His finger had a build in pencil sharpeners, and he could even remove his telescope eyeball which made studying the planet much easier. Wow, said Ricky. I can see all the way to Mercury. That's cool. Chapter 3 Mr. Mosquito Hates Mercury Mercury was the smallest planet in the solar system, and it was the closest planet to the sun, but it certainly was not cool. Just ask Mr. Mosquito, who lived in Mercury, and he hated everything about it. He hated the long, long hot days. Each day is on Mercury, the temperature rose to more than 800 degrees. Mr. Mosquito couldn't even walk down the street because his flip-flops always melt on the sidewalks. Mr. Mosquito hated Mercury's long, long cold nights, too. Each night on Mercury, the temperature dropped to almost 300 degrees below zero. Mr. Mercury couldn't even brush his teeth because his toothpaste, toothpaste always frozen solid. I got, 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 got to get, get, get away f from this, this off of the planet, said Mr. Mosquito, shivering in the cold. So Mr. Mosquito looked at his view scene from saw and saw the planet Earth. He saw mice playing happily on cold autumn days. He saw them sleeping soundly on warm summer nights. The Earth is planet for me said Mr. Mosquito. Soon it will be mine. Chapter 4 Mr. Mosquito Makes His Move Mr. Mosquito went into his secret laboratory and clipped his filthy fingernails. He put the clipping into a giant machine and jabbed them with a powerful ray. Then Mr. Mosquito's fingernail grew and grew and grew into massive movement mosquitoes. Mr. Mosquito climbed over his spaceship and called to his rope. Mutant mosquitoes, he cried. It is time to conquer Earth. Follow me. Ricky was in math class that afternoon. He looked out at the window and saw the mutant mosquitoes. Uh-oh, said Ricky. It looks like Squeakyville needs our help. Ricky raised his hand. May I be excused? Ricky asked his teacher. My robot and I have to save the earth. Not until you finish your math test, said Ricky's teacher. Ricky has three problems left. What is four times three? He asked, he asked himself aloud. Ricky's robot was waiting outside. He wanted to help, so he dashed to the school's teacher's parking lot and brought back some cars. Ricky's robot put three cars into one pile, and he put three cars into another pile. Ricky looked at the piles of cars. Two piles of three cars, said Ricky. Two times three equals six. Ricky looked at his next question. What is six minus five? He asked. Ricky's robot ju knew just what to do. He threw five of the cars back into the parking lot. I get it. 6 minus 5 equals 1. Ricky's last question was hardest of all. What is 1 divided by 2? He asked. 
the, the robot used his mighty carob chop to divide one car into two. That was easy, said Ricky. One divided by two equals one half. Ricky handed in his test. Then he climbed out of the window. Let's go, mighty robot, said Ricky. We got to save the earth. My, my, my car, cried Ricky's teacher. Chapter 6 The Heroes Alive Ricky and his mighty robot ran downstairs to face the mutant mosquitoes. The mosquitoes attacked Ricky's robot. Hey, said Ricky, four against one is not fair. Then Ricky had an idea. Come with me, robot, said Ricky. The mighty robot was busy fighting, so he could not follow Ricky, but his arms could stretch very far. Ricky and his robot arms stretched all the way to the bug away bug spraying fat factories. Ricky told the robot's arm to grab one of the huge bug spray orange tanks. Then they handed back to the battle. Chapter 7 A Buggy Battle Push Clunk Alright, mighty robot, let's dust these sharp crops. Whop, thunk, buzz, 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 whamp. Ready or not, here come. Thump, no, 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 arr, hum, thump, 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 oh, no. Slam, wong, thong, shh, 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 Buzz, 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 bang. No, yeah, thump. Go get a mighty robot. The mighty lover shoot the tank of bug spray. The rover sprayed at the mosquitoes. Then he broke up the buggy battle with a big blast from his bionic boot. Chapter 8 Mr. Mosquito's Revenge The mutant mosquitoes had been defeated. Ricky's mighty rover chased them into space. The mosquitoes flew back to Mercury and never bothered anybody again. Mr. Mosquito was very angry. He grabbed Ricky and took, his into, took him into the spaceship. Help me, robot, Ricky cried. But it was too late. Mr. Mosquito chained Ricky up. And then he went to his control panel and pulled a secret lever. Suddenly, his spaceship began to change and shifted and grow and transformed into a giant matchup mosquito. The Mega Mosquito attacked Ricky's mighty robot, but Ricky's robot would not fight back. He knew that Ricky was inside the Mega Mosquito and he did not want his best friend to get hurt. So you would not fight back, eh? No problem. You just made my job a lot easier. No, no, no. Say goodbye, mighty robot. Pow. The Mecha Mosquito pounded Ricky's robot. What could Ricky do? Ricky thought and thought, then he had an idea. Mr. Mosquito, said Ricky, I have to go to the bathroom. Not now, said Mr. Mosquito. I'm too busy beating up your robot. But it's an emergency, said Ricky. All right, all right, said Mr. Mosquito. He unlocked Ricky's chains and led him to the boys' bathroom. Hurry up in there, he yelled. Inside the bathroom, Ricky opened the window and stuck his head outside. Psst, Ricky whispered. The robot saw Ricky and he held out his giant hand. Ricky jumped. I'm safe, said Ricky. Now it will be a fair fight. Chapter 9 Ricky's robot strikes back. Inside the Mega Mosquito, Dr. Mosquito was getting very angry. He knocked on the bathroom door. Let's hurry up in there, he yelled. I haven't got a... Kapoo! Ricky's robot punched the Mega Mosquito right in the face. Mr. Mosquito leaped onto the control panel and fought back hard. The final battle was about to begin. Chapter 10 The Final Battle in flip -a llama flip -a llama here's now it works. Hey kids! You can animate the actions by following these easy steps. The Mega Mosquito attacks. Ricky's robot fought back. The Mega Mosquito battle hard. Ricky's robot battle harder. Ricky's robot saved the day. 
Mecha Mosquito had been defeated, and Ricky's robot and Mighty Robot was victorious. Mr. Ro Mr. Mosquito crawled out of his damaged ship and began to cry. What a bad day I'm having, cried Mr. Mosquito. It's about to get worse, said Ricky. Ricky's mighty robot picked up Dr. Mosquito and dropped him into the squeaky little jail. Then Ricky and his mighty robot flew home for chocolate milk and grilled cheese sandwich. You boys have saved the world again, said Ricky's mother. Yes, said Ricky's father. Thank you for sticking, sticking together and fighting for what's that right. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for.